So and you, you had experience with ACT UP Paris, yeah. and that was an inspiration for the film. And I, I want to ask about that, but I also want to ask about you, you two. Did, did you know anything about ACT UP Paris before you started the film? I was nine uh, in 92, so I didn't know very much about ACT UP. I remember um, that they did a very great action on uh, L'Obelisque de la Concorde. They put a pink condom on it, so it was like for me a nine nine years old kid, like, wow, what is it? <laughs> but about the message, about the political aspect, I didn't know anything about so, it. So how did you prepare how did, for you as well? Well, I had no idea. I'm Argentinian, I grew up, I grew up in Argentina. Um, so no, I, <laughs> yeah, I say that because I was not in France, so I can imagine that maybe if I had been in France, I would have seen the, the, yeah. the pink condom, but no. Um, well, that's something to see, Too right? bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, there were some associations in Argentina, like equivalent associations, but uh, no, ACT UP, I didn't. So we read books. Yeah. We had access to the audiovisual um, archives from France, so we could see like all the news from that time in which we, we, you would see the, all the actions that they were carrying out. And then we, well, I saw a film called Sir Silver Lake um, in French, yeah. View? Silver Lake View. Silver Lake View, uh, which is a documentary that is just like so raw and you can see how, how bad the sickness can, can affect your body. It was a very good film to, to understand how deep you can go. Um, and then what else? Uh, we had the Didier Lestrade uh, yeah, uh, book. The book, yeah. And we had um, a conference with uh, Philippe Mongeau, the co-scenarist, yeah. yeah. And do you direct this type of preparation for them, or did you...? Yes, because, you know, I was kind of searching what kind of... You know, for instance, I don't like to go to, through too much documents. I want to people to feel a little bit free about reinventing this story, even if it was a little bit my story, it's a little bit historical, but it's not that much. So I wanted them to be free. But, you know, I gave them the, the book of Didier Lestrade, who was the first president of Act of Paris. You know, because in France, you, when you do an association like this, you have you have to have a president, which is different <laughs> in, uh, in your country. Uh, we are very formal, I don't know about that. So I gave, I gave them the, 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 the book of Didier Lestrade because I wanted them to understand how we were talking at this moment, what w words we were using, what kind of t tone we had when we were discussing. And uh, you know, because when I, I was really, I didn't ask them to imitate people of this period, the real people. I, I told them that I wanted to hear the voices during the debate that I heard 25 years ago. So the, the book of Didier Lesoir was very interesting for, for them because they knew what was the topic, the topics at the moment and the way we were talking. So that was more, mostly what I was searching for. Well, I, I think it's really interesting in the film. Like there's, there's little introduction into this world besides that very short this is the first weekly meeting and just describe it. And then so much of the film is these meetings where you really get a sense of just the, the, the power and the struggle that's going on there. And I was just, what, how, did you, how do you approach those scenes? Because filming a room of people talking could, could not be as dynamic as it as appears in the film. And I wonder what the approach to that was. Uh, yes, I was, I was a little bit afraid of that, of course, you know, because you are very brave when you write a script and after when you have to direct that, you are a little bit, uh, that's more difficult, I think. But it's true that um, it was very important to me to compare the, the debate, the power of talking of the words with uh, the actions, the, 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 the dancing scenes, the sex scene, I wanted a very big difference between all these dimensions, we are so different. And so I, I just, uh, I wanted, you know, all these um, uh, debates, uh, the, the amphitheater to be like a brain with people connecting to each other and creating visions like actions, like posters, like new uh, slogans. In contrast, in, in those in those scenes, the very public uh, meeting scenes, there's also these intimate sex scenes between the two of you. And I'm wondering, how did you how did you go about shooting that, and how did you two develop your relationship on on camera? To because it seems very intimate throughout the film. Well, the second working session that we did when we were auditioning, uh, he asked us to. <laughs> 
to be bare chest and just lie down on a couch and just try to to be together and improvise. Uh, we had some little dialogues that he invented for that scene, but then that was mainly an improvisation. So maybe the sex scene you wrote did uh, taking things from that improvisation. improvisation. Uh, so I remember that that was the first time that we thought that it could be, that it was possible to build something together, right? Yeah. There's this chemistry that you can't really, uh, you know, force or create. Uh, you just have to try it out. And that was, uh, that was a great day, I remember. I just felt very comfortable with him and, um, and that allowed that scene to exist yeah. in the way it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had two rehearsals um, before the, um, for the shooting in underwear, I'm not, not naked, but... Yeah. Um, it helped us, I think, to be more relaxed on the shooting. Yeah, we found like this, like this kind of choreography yeah. that then we could inhabit, and uh, we did it on the on the shooting. Yeah, really, at the end, we we just we rehearsed, We did, did a lo lot of rehearsal during the shooting because it was mm. very hard to find the positions and everything. Because and it, uh, there are two cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, because you don't, you know, they are very generous with the film, so they were they did all that for me, for the film, but you know, you cannot ask them to do it like 10 times. That's not possible. So that was mo do two times, I think twice, that no. Yeah, then we were doing some dialogue. Some no, 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 it was well, it was a whole day of working yeah. and uh, was it was very hot. Hours so all the sweat that you see in camera is Real just, we were sweating yeah. because yeah. we had lights everywhere. It's not that we were super Yes, but, uh, but it worked. I mean, yeah. it's one day and it's like 12 minutes in the film. We are arguing about that. <laughs> so. No, no. But, but honestly, the, the technicians were... Um, um, we were what? <laughs> were nervous? Yeah, we're more wet, nervous. We're, yeah, of course. Yeah. I tried. I, I tried. To, I tried to yeah, make yeah. that this kind of scene. It's no. It's a normal scene. You know, they have to play a lot. They. Have, you know, because it's not. I told them it was. It won't be, of course, pornographic. So they can, and you. They. They. Uh, it will be a little bit. Uh, how can I say? Uh, pudic, prude. Prude. Uh, I don't know. Pudic. Modest. And uh, uh, so, but they knew. But because of that, that they have to pay, to play really uh, the sex. The sex. And at the same time, you have a lot of things going on in this scene. It's just not a sex scene. It's not uh, a sex know, performance. I, I don't. I don't want this kind of sex uh, of sex scene to be a performance. Yeah. I think it's boring. I think when you. It's. It's for me. It's a little bit. Um, I feel guilty when I see sex scene on, on the film because the people are, are, are looks so much better than me in a bed <laughs> and uh, I think I'm very yeah. dull I'm, I'm doing <laughs> very stupid things in a, uh, I'm very tired of that <laughs> yeah there's a, there's a lot of physicality in, the, in those scenes and also obviously the dance scenes and, and and you you lose a lot of weight in the film yeah, I, I did was wondering, yeah I mean you go from being a very vibrant alive person to someone who's close to death and I was wondering what that what the experience was like physically to lose weight, but also like in terms of filming, where, when did you film those scenes? Were they at the end of, of shooting in general? Is, is that the process? Yeah, it was all in cr chronological order. So we started doing the film, well, I mean, uh, exactly in the same order that you see the film, then we cut my hair. And then at a certain point, I had to start to lose weight, but we were still shooting. So that was the, the worst thing that I had to, you know, try to keep some energy and at the same time I cut carbs and I was feeling weaker and weaker and weaker so that was tough for me in a well but then at, at, on the same at the same time it was very useful for the film and it facilitated a lot of things because we were I was withdrawing from the group and Arnaud was seeing me weaker and weaker so of course you know reality seeing fiction like fiction and reality start mirroring each other in a in a good way but I can tell you it was very tiring and I was waiting for the final clap. I was <laughs> very exhausted, of course. Like, what, do you, what do you think that this film, you know, especially in the level of um, hopelessness at that time, but there still was activism and, and, and working on something together. What, what do you think today, what it says about global activism or being involved in, in any type of political movement? Is there a lesson at all? Uh, I, I mean, I didn't do the film, this film, to to give lessons to anyone. Really, I, I just try to make a selfish thing, you know. But it's a very honest way of putting it because what I, what I can say is that it's true that now in France and everywhere in the world, you have small groups 
activist and uh, uh, they are not very popular, especially from, by the politicians. And uh, I just say that, you know, because the film was a big su success in France, that's very weird because we were not so popular at the time. And so maybe you should think a little bit more about what is going on politically in this kind of small minor mm -hmm. groups, because maybe it's something very important uh, that uh, these groups are saying to the society. That's the main thing for, for me. Well, I want to thank you all for, for bringing the thank film you. and being here.